So we have the sum of the first 14 terms. So it's telling us that S14 is 16,383. Common ratio, R is equal to negative 2. And we want to find term 1. So we just, because we know it's a geometric series and because we're given a sum, go to our formula sheets. And this is the formula on our formula sheet for, sorry, this is R, that's an N, this is a T. Okay. And if we look at this and we put information in, if we put in 16,383 for SN, that means we're saying we're talking about the 14th sum. So wherever there's an N on this side, we're going to put a 14. Term 1 is what we want to find. 1 minus R is 2. Oh yes, thank you. It's negative 2. Oh, this is a good question. Love this negative in here. So we've got 1 minus negative 2 to the 14. And the reason I love this negative in here is because it, well, it can cause some issues. The question is, can I change these two negatives in the bottom to a positive? Is that 1 plus the 2? Yes. So that's 3. Can I change the two negatives inside to a positive? No. Because you're doing negative 2 to the power 14, and if you think back to order of operations, brackets, then exponents, then dividing, then multiplying, adding, and subtracting, we have to do our exponent before we multiply. And if you type this into your calculator, what happens when you do a negative to an even power? You're going to get a positive number. So if we go to our calculator and write negative 2 to the power 14. Now what's wrong with what I just did right here? Negative 2 to the power 14. I didn't use the minus sign. I did hit the negative sign. There's no bracket. So if you do this and push enter, your calculator will tell you a negative number. But you haven't done it properly because this means 2 to the 14 times by a negative 1. If we put it in brackets, negative 2 to the power of 14, which is what our equation says, we find out that it's positive, 16,384. So we have 16,383 equals term 1, 1 minus, and this part here is positive, 16,384, all divided by 3. So we're going to get 16,383 equals term 1. 1 minus that will be negative, 16,383 divided by 3. Mathematically, at this step, if you want to solve for term 1, Right now, that term 1 is being multiplied by negative 16,383 and then divided by 3. If you want to get rid of the dividing by 3, you can multiply both sides by 3. That will cause these 3's to go away, because 3 divided by 3 is 1. And then if you wanted to get rid of the negative 16,383, the opposite of multiplying would be dividing. Sometimes you'd like to do that in two steps. That's fine. I'm going to do it all in the same step here. So I'm going to divide by negative 16,383. Just because doing it at the same time will help us with our mental math. Is 3 times 16,383 an easy thing to do in mental math? No. Um, is 16,383 divided by negative 16,383 hard to do mental math? No, it's equal to negative 1. And negative 1 times by negative 3 will give us 
negative 3 for term 1. Questions you can do for this one? Just 13. 